I, I don't know if you if anybody uh, has been following this, but in uh, basically for people have been agitating for a while to have the Washington Redskins uh, change their name. It's for, all Michael's been thinking about. It's all I've been thinking. I'm enraged. I'm he, so angry. He come. You should have seen him the day the NSA story leaked. Michael came running in here and he was like, "Guys, did you hear the big story?" And we were like, "What?" And he said, "Man, the Redskins." The Redskins. And we were like, but Michael, didn't you hear about this NSA? And he went, NSA? No, NFL is what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. About. I don't know what you're talking Get about. Get in the game, buddy. <laughs> Actually, speaking of which, there is a ton more. Time to play some football! NSA stuff that we do need to get into. But anyways, at any rate, Huge controversy, and I and I actually, all kidding aside, I haven't been following this issue at all. I think, sure, you should probably change the name of the team. It's bad. You know, it's not on my uh, top priority list. But this is a big thing. And uh, the Washington Redskins even enlisted the help a while ago of uh, Republican pollster Frank Luntz to do some focus groups and maybe develop some messaging around how to preserve their anachronistic and racist name for their uh, football team. And a great strategy that the Redskins could pursue uh, to, to keep this name would be uh, to uh, think about it. If you could come up with a leader in the Native American community, a person of authority, to say, hey, you shouldn't change the name. That name's great. And in fact, the term Redskins... It's not even offensive. And, and furthermore, I'm tired of these damn white liberals speaking on behalf of Native Americans. That would be pretty dynamic if they could find somebody like that. And it appears that they did. There's yeah. a key word in that statement. Should we play the audio? Yeah, the, the key word is appears, folks. But let me just introduce this really quickly. So this was on uh, recently on a May 3rd broadcast of uh, of the uh, a show which is produced by Dan Schneider, who's the owner of the Redskins, called Redskins Nation. The program featured a guest introduced as Chief Dotson to talk about this issue, and, and he had some pretty strong words. Let's 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 play that clip. AP story: the survey yesterday, seventy nine percent of Americans approve of the name Redskins, and here's a gentleman. I like. Oh, I just want to. I like that stat. Yeah. Seventy nine percent of Americans approve the name Redskins. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I'm sure that that's not too difficult to get the majority there. Yeah. I wonder what happened to all the people who would disapprove of the name Redskins. I wonder what happened to all of them. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Those 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 <laughs> stats are like you know, whatever. Fifty percent of our house approve. Well, I'm not going to make that joke. All right, go ahead. And he's from Prince George's <laughs> County, not originally. And Chief, you're from the Aleutian tribe. Yeah. Let's go back to the beginning. You reached out to the Redskins a couple months ago. Why'd you do it? Uh, you know, uh, this is very simple. People were speaking for Native Americans who weren't Native American. And uh, being a full-blood Indian uh, with my family uh, uh, behind me, uh, we had a big problem with some of the things that were coming out of this at all. In fact, we're honored, uh, quite honored. So that's pretty compelling, I have to say. Uh, you know, uh, if I had been following this issue and I had just seen a headline, I probably might not have reversed my position, but I would have, uh, I would have certainly taken note. Uh, probably not too much note because you could probably argue that that is not reflective of the vast majority of the Native American community. And he's not just any Native American. He's, he's a chief. He's a chief. Uh, and and uh, so, so it looked like the Redskins uh, had found... They're a perfect PR ploy. Um, the only problem with this clip is, in addition to what are you saying, uh, being probably wrong in a broader sense, um, Chief Dotson, whose real name is Stephen D. Dotson, he's not exactly a great spokesperson for uh, Snyder and the Redskins uh, because it turns out that he is neither a, quote, full-blooded American in Inuit chief, which is what he... Uh, was introduced as, uh, nor is he a full-blooded Inuit, nor is he a full-blooded chief. In fact, no, he's is. none of those things. <laughs> nor is he even a yeah. chief. <laughs> he's, uh, friends and people around him have said that he has a nickname, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally the equivalent <laughs> yes. of you like saying to someone like, what are you talking about, Chief? Yeah. Hey, well, that's chief. something people say. Chief. Do you think people should be speaking inappropriately on behalf of Native Americans? Hey, chief. Yeah. Hey, chief. No, this chief does not. 
So basically, it turns out, and I and during the interview, this guy Dotson, who runs uh, a a crane a a, a a company, small company in his hometown, was able to put in some plugs. Or excuse me, was he works for Charlie's Crane Service, a tow company ha- uh, headquartered uh, in Landover, uh, Maryland, uh, and he was able to put some plugs in for that company during his appearance on Redskins Nation. So basically. The Redskins' moronic ownership, looking uh, in a pathetic ploy to justify the fact that they won't let go of their racist name, found a guy claiming to be a Native American chief uh, who was neither Native American nor had any type of leadership in the Native American community, went on, lied about his background, promoted his boss's towing company, um, and now... Even people like me who are paying no attention to this story think that the Redskins not only need to change their name immediately, they need to apologize, contribute money uh, to name the Native American uh, charity uh, or, or our social service investment. Uh, and, you know, this guy, uh, uh, Chief Dotson, has got a lot of chutzpah. Those Dis- are the big takeaways from that story. Disney should hire this guy to uh, sell the, uh, the Peter Pan Blu-rays. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. 